So my name is Tom Schwartz. I'm an assistant professor in chemical engineering here. Uh, and we'll walk a little bit further down the, the hallway here and get you a little more of a sense of what Gen S Hall is like. Uh, and in this lab, we uh, tend to look at experiments that are a little bit smaller scale than what you saw downstairs. Uh, here we're actually working on uh, systems that might be a little bit more uh, hazardous for you to learn uh, at full scale. And so instead we'll work uh, first on how to run things like chemical reactors uh, at a more manageable scale. Uh, and so here to talk about some of her experiences with that is Erin Acheson, who's a senior in um, uh, chemical engineering. Basically what we have here is we have a catalytic reactor. So the um, experiment that we use this to run is we were looking at the acid uh, hydrolyzed conversion of sucrose into glucose and fructose. So we use the bench top scale, basically like Professor Schwartz said, to um, kind of do this at a more manageable level and really get a feel for how things work. So basically you would have something like your, um, your feed container with your sucrose that you would feed into the reactor through a tube. Um, in here is a packed catalyst, which helps to, or which actually reacts what you're feeding into your reactor, and it's heated through the outer shell of the tube with hot water. So you would feed your um, solution in through the reactor. It would react, and you would be able to collect your samples out the end um, to to test for things like your conversion. So basically, the whole point of that lab is to look at how different parameters like your feed flow rate or your catalyst particle size are going to affect uh, the conversion of your reaction. And then we can test that using analytical instrumentation like the spectrophotometer here, which measures the absorbance of um, light from your sample, which we can use to inadvertently calculate whatever the concentration of your reactants outside of the reactor are. So that's just kind of a brief overview of how these types of labs work. You basically have um, some kind of uh, reactor scheme, you have some kind of um, process that you're working with, and then you use analytical instrumentation at the end to analyze uh, your samples and then you analyze your data to um, get your final results.